welcome to the real life haunted mansion house. <laughs> Yep, here in Pennsylvania, we have a little bit of Disney history with the real life Haunted Mansion. Magical moment, we are actually inside of the mansion right now. Hello friends. Okay, today I am doing something very exciting. So I am doing a Disney related thing in my home state of Pennsylvania. As you can see, it is very much a Pennsylvania weather type day. I am here in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania, a area of Pennsylvania I have never explored before. And I, if you follow my channel here, you know my time in Pennsylvania is kind of winding down. I am officially moving to Orlando, Florida. I am going to be in the new year participating in the Disney College program. I'm going to be a Disney cast member living in Florida. And while I still lived here in Pennsylvania, this is a location that I have always, always wanted to come to. Let me tell you why. So I have forever wanted to come here to Jim Thorpe because here in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania, believe it or not, is a little piece of Disney history. The actual mansion that inspired the architecture for, is what the Imagineers based the Walt Disney World Haunted Mansion on, is here in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. So. We're doing it today. I'm here with my friends. This is Kelly and Mandy. You've seen them from my Disney vlogs before. They are also both vloggers, so I'm going to link their channels below. Kelly is Geek Meets Eats, and Mandy is WW Through My Eyes. They will all be linked in the description. Are you excited, ladies? Hey, we're, we're freezing. freezing. We're freezing. But I said it's very appropriate Pennsylvania weather for this. It's my, what do we keep calling it? It's my last hurrah as a PA girl. Yes. And then, last hurrah. My last hurrah as a PA girl. And it's then they're going to. It's like for the cold wig. So you don't ever like forget it. Exactly, exactly. Like I, this really is the most, it's damp, it's cold. We are, I have gloves on, I'm still freezing. <laughs> but we are doing it. We're excited. We're going to have a whole fun Jim Thorpe day. I've never been here before. Um, both the girls really haven't explored this area either. This is new to you guys. So we're gonna do some other fun things as well. We're mainly here for the mansion, but we also are gonna do, um, I think the first place we're actually going is a Harry Potter um, inspired, it's called the Muddles Mug. Yes. little coffee house thing so it's a harry potter themed coffee house this town seems like there's a lot of cute shops little coffee houses places to eat so that's what we're doing this is gonna be a fun we're staying over the night so we're doing like a little like weekend getaway trip i'm excited so that's what we're doing we're doing a little bit of disney history in my home state best way to you know round off my time in pennsylvania we're doing it Mandy just found, we're walking along, this is the parking lot, just the lot that we found to park in, a little paper parking thing, and we just found it right up there. That is the Her Harry Potter Mansion, which is the mansion that inspired the Haunted Mansion. I am so excited to go see it. Look at that. Okay, right over there, that's the parking lot that we just parked in. You can see it seems like a lot of people come up here, they have a train ride. People are getting tickets over there at the train station. How cute is this? And I said this weather is actually like we're all just vlogging right now. It's like vlogception happening. But you can see the weather. We definitely have like this very dreary, dreary day, very foggy and everything. But I said it kind of works because it's kind of appropriate for like the Haunted Mansion vibes. And yeah, seriously, right across the street here, up there, you can see the mansion. We're going to go see that in a little bit. All right, we are here now in the heart of the little town of Jim Thorpe, PA, and it is so cute. And it's all decorated for Christmas. This seriously looks like it could be like a Hallmark movie. It is adorable. But you see, this is the issue with the North and trying to celebrate and be outside. It's just so cold. We're like, our hands feel like they're freezing off right now. But we're about to go warm up with some good food, some treats. It's going to be a good day.
Okay, but this town is like seriously adorable. Like I came here obviously for Disney. Like that is the main reason we came here. Oh, there's the train. It's leaving right now. It's leaving the station. But here for Disney, but honestly, this is so cool. Like I love seeing just like all the architecture and everything around here. It's such a cute little town. Wait until the train stops <laughs> going. This is so just charming. It's very, very charming. I love it. This is definitely something to check out. I could see how it's like you really can, like we're doing, do like a whole long weekend trip here or even just like a fun day trip if you are local to the area because there's a lot to see and do. Like yeah, all these streets just have really cute small little shops that we want to check out, some cute coffee houses and restaurants. Okay, we are at our first coffee house of the trip. This is the Muggles Mug, and it is the Harry Potter themed coffee house. So you see, we have a little bit of Universal in there too. You know, Universal Orlando? I'm thinking about becoming an annual pass holder to Universal Orlando as a Florida local. So, very appropriate. <laughs> oh, look, they have the, what is that? I'm not super up on my Harry Potter, but they have that thing. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting this. They actually have the movie playing in here. Okay, we just sat down in here. The people are so friendly. It is just absolutely incredible. If you are a Harry Potter fan, you have to come here. Like, this is like worth it alone. Like, we're Disney people, so we're here for like the mansion, but like, Potter fan like you will go crazy just in this little coffee house it's so cute so they have as you see on the menu like a bunch of Harry Potter inspired drinks Kelly my friend she got the butter beer and I was gonna get that but then I was looking at the menu and this one just caught my eye this is the deathly hollows so it is dark chocolate and orange let's try it best coffees I've had in a while. I, I love it. It's so good. I said it reminds me of, so it's dark chocolate and orange, which are like two of my favorite things. And at, especially this time of year, Christmas time, I love those dark chocolate oranges. That's like my tradition. Every Christmas, my parents put one of those in my stocking. I love those. And it tastes like one of those melted down, but not overly sweet, like not super. And like, it also just has like a nice, I don't know, just like nice smooth texture to it. I love this. This is delicious. So check this place out. She's incredible coffee. Now. <laughs> go get some. Yes, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, incredible, incredible atmosphere. This is awesome. We're talking about which Hogwarts houses we are. So the Sorting Hat actually at the Warner Brothers Studio Store in Hollywood told me I'm a Gryffindor. And I feel like when I took one of the quizzes, like originally, that's what I was pegged as. But more recently I took one and was a Ravenclaw. I feel like I have like characteristics of both, but Leave comments. What is your house? Mandy, what is your, you say you're a Gryffindor. 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 Mm -hmm. Kelly, you are? A Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I also have Hufflepuff qualities as well. I'm like a combination. Like a Hufflepuff Slytherin. <laughs> Hufflepuff Slytherin. <laughs> a Hufflepuff Slytherin. Right, right. That's, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I can totally contradict myself. I'm so nice, but I'm going to make fun of you the whole time. So. <laughs> Okay, so that was incredible. Um, the girls had some pastries and you said they were like amazing. So I had a gluten free, a gluten free, gluten -free muffin. blueberry muffin. And there was no difference. It was the same moisture and that's a horrible word. <laughs> But it was just as good as a regular one. Um, that's awesome. You couldn't tell. It wasn't dry or anything. That yeah. was a great muffin. So that's good. I know Mandy really liked what she had. And then I got to try it for the first time. I feel like a true Pennsylvanian. So it took me all this time to have my first boilo. Am I saying that right? Boilo. So this is like, I'm from like southeastern PA. And I don't think it's as much of a thing here as it is like in more like, we're like, where did it really North originate? Eastern. Northeastern. It was like a European thing, but yeah, it's it, Northeast. It's a Schuylkill County thing. <laughs> and so Boilo is basically, Kelly will describe it really well. She actually makes it herself. It's spices that you like 
You boil water, right? And then you just do... No water. So it's basically oh, a assortment of... Spices. Oranges, <laughs> apples, lemons, usually citrus mm -hmm. for a traditional boilo. And now it's raining really hard. It's raining really hard. <laughs> and then spices. Each spice has its own... I have to say medical purpose. Yeah, kind of like a medicinal property. Ginger, clove, cinnamon, mm -hmm. things like, like that. Like an all-natural way to kind of cure if you're Absolutely. sick or something. Yeah. Tons of honey. Mm -hmm. And then usually you would add like an Everclear, a whiskey, um, any type of moonshine, anything like that to it as well. Um, this one didn't have that though. This was the non-alcoholic oh. version. <laughs> and it was an apple version, but it was very good. Yes, and Kelly was saying she usually makes more like an orange base, which I think I would love. Mm -hmm. So I need to try it at some point. And I thought it was really interesting. So it's an Eastern European thing, which is a lot of my family actually has like Eastern European descent. So I'm kind of shocked I haven't heard of it. But you were saying it really started because of the miners. Like, yeah, so the when they would go into the, and then when they get off work, they would almost like clear out, you know, and it has like a lot of good health problems. Yeah, for absolutely. You. Yeah. So if you're congested at all nowadays, it kind of helps clear you up in yeah. a way or at least make you drunk enough that you don't care so i need to try like this is how i'm fascinated by this it's like because you had mentioned something about it like a couple weeks ago and now i'm like i got to try it for the first time well the non-alcoholic version so but it was really good we'll have to that make our a, own sometime that was an awesome version it was really really good yes so. kelly might be doing some more content on that so check out her channel because she's gonna be talking all about the boiler <laughs> I'm gonna go, guys. yeah so we came back outside it's still raining we were hoping that it wouldn't still be raining but it is raining but that's not stopping us. We are gonna go trek on, maybe go in some of these shops later. Yeah, we're gonna go do some shopping. And now pack a sweater, what? <laughs> Bloody Mary, Gucci, cheddar, jalapeno, stuffed olives. We're gonna go in the artsy olive, which they have tasting, so we're excited. And it, they have like samples going on. To our back room, we also have um, iced tea. What's in the iced tea? I forgot. Um, honey I love this. Yeah, balsamic. I love that. Oh my gosh, we're gonna make that for sure with their balsamic. Wow. Sangria, but it actually has a balsamic vinegar in it. So I believe the balsamic in this one is peach. The peach bourbon. is bourbon, bourbon peach. peach. Oh, okay. All right. Give a little try here. And then get Mandy white wine and triple sack. Okay, this place is so awesome. The staff is just so friendly. I actually asked them if they were affiliated with the little olive oil store that I'm familiar with in actually St. Michael's, Maryland. I'll go ahead and link my St. Michael's Maryland vlogs that I have because some of the products they have in here is very similar. Obviously though, this is their own brand and they are not affiliated in any way actually, but it's just pretty cool. Like it very much reminds me of that shop. I love balsamics and olive oils and everything. And I love seeing like the different creations that they make with it. That sangria that we had was amazing. Also look at this guy. Kelly just tried, this is a coconut balsamic vinegar. And she said she really can't even describe it. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I know, but it's weird. Yeah, it's like I can't understand. Like, do you understand? Like, I understand. Where it's like, my brain can't like. I can't wrap my like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm having a lot of laughs. So yes, this is it. I don't know, like, what? How would you do with it? Like, how would you? You're the chef. How would you craft this? I mean, it's just so interesting. A bit of that over shrimp. Oh my gosh, that'd be amazing because it's like a coconut shrimp. Mm -hmm. That would be amazing. But like he said, all of their like you know vinegars and like as they say, vinegars have a lot of good. Talking about having healthy properties for you, you're supposed to have a lot of balsamic and oils in your diet, but have them in these more natural states from like these specialty stores and not what you can find in just like your local grocery store. So like. I love these shops like this. And yeah, this is very good. Now you're going with chocolate cherry. Chocolate cherry. Chocolate cherry, let's see. I'd make, I, you can make an alcoholic beverage out of that. Put that in brownies over ice cream. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you could. Absolutely. Over ice cream and yeah, any type of any mixed type drink. Any good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Sizzled on top amazing. of hot chocolate. That's like they had some brownies in the room the over there that are with the orange balsamic and that's how the store that i'm used to in saint michael's they that's the first time i ever tried like a balsamic in a brownie like that and it's amazing it's so good yeah 
getting so many ideas. I know. Of things I now. Like, do I want to walk around the bag? Because I, I know. I might have to stop back in here and get some stuff. I know my parents would love some of these. This is like good Christmas gifts, Christmas shopping. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Now we're having some lemon blueberry balsamic water. Oh, that's refreshing. That's so good. And it's like better for you than, you know, having like soda or like, you know, flavored sparkling water you get in the store or something. Like, that's awesome. Okay, let's see. So now this one is a honey mango balsamic iced tea. Oh. Hey, did you try any of these? No. You gotta try these. This one's my favorite that's so far. Water. This, yeah, it's water. What? But it's lemon blueberry balsamic water. So, okay. And it's amazing. <laughs> All right, the very friendly store owner, he was just telling us that right here, he actually has posted, these are all the health benefits that balsamic vinegar gives you and that the easiest way to actually get it into your diet is through drinking it. So here's like some more like Disney kind of touches. It's this through the looking glass cafe. And the other coffee house we were going to go to, which is not this place, like also had like an Alice in Wonderland theme. So like, why is that such a big thing around here as well? <laughs> I don't know. So right now we're going to go to Race Street, which is right up here. Actually, the shop owner we were talking to inside that balsamic store there, he was saying that this street, he said, seriously, when you look at it, it will feel like you are in Europe or somewhere. And he also said that the church that's up here has just gorgeous stained glass windows <laughs> and everything. <laughs> so I think we're gonna go head over that way. Um. So yeah, this doesn't look like European quite yet. I think it's not this street. <laughs> I think Ray Street is maybe up there. But yeah, this is like definitely just like kind of, it just, oh, it goes all the way down. <laughs> he did say something about if you don't look at the one side of the street to the other side of the street, then you feel like you're in Europe. <laughs> Okay, so this is kind of like what he was saying. He's like, ignore that part. And then here's Ray Street. And down this way is where they have like more of the European architecture and everything. So for a little bit of like wayfinding here, that was um, Broadway right there. Now we are here on this is Ray Street. We're going to go down. And I believe that is the church that he was telling us has those beautiful stained glass windows. And there was something he was saying about that it was like the artisan who created them. Like no one can replicate his work. There's like a whole thing you can look up on this church. So we're going to go check it out. Yeah, so now this feels like we're in Europe. This is very, very pretty. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So he was serious when he said like, it's a whole pickle shop. All, all right, let's check it out. Giggles into <laughs> <laughs> Beep! <laughs> Kelly's so excited for the pickles. <laughs> Jill, I love pickles too, I do. Okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Mickey? A little bit of a Mickey? So it does appear there is more than just pickles in here. <laughs> they also have the pickle ornament. That's a tradition my family yes, does. It's yes. the pickle <laughs> ornament at Christmas. Yeah. They have a, like a couple different varieties. This one's like sparkly pickle. So yeah, we're walking here on Ray Street and I just spotted so we can see one of the mansions. So the backstory is there's the first mansion, which is the father's, which what was his name? Do you know? Asia, A-S-A, Asia Packer. Thank you, Mandy. There we go. Mandy did her research on this. So that was, okay, so the father, he had that mansion that we can see right there. And then as a wedding gift to his son, he built him the Harry Packer Mansion, which is right next door. And that's the one that the Haunted Mansion was modeled after. So from right here, we can see the one that is the original home, the original mansion, the father's home. And we also see this gorgeous Christmas tree. I get right there. That's the original mansion. So we just found this is St. Mark's Episcopal Church. Oh, I think they're actually singing right now. That's beautiful. And yeah, this is where that guy was telling us we had to come see the stained glass. And wow, already, that is gorgeous. It's like a different type of tint almost Absolutely. to it, which is, yeah, why, like they said, they can't replicate what this guy was able to do, the artisan that created this. We just came inside the church and this was what um the guy we were talking to was actually saying that they do offer tours of the church so that would be really neat to check out oh yeah it's a national registered historical landmark and they have a 
tour that they will give for five dollars per person and yeah i wonder when that happens like how often it happens Yeah, so that was beautiful. Yeah, so we just walked around in the chapel and then we think that they have tours of like the rest of the church. But yeah, right now we're gonna go ahead and keep walking around, see what we can find. Yeah, so as you can see, we just were in like the chapel there, but like there's a whole main part of the church. It looks beautiful. This is like such an interesting town. Like I'd love to come back here again someday when I'm here visiting because there's just like so many things to explore, just like the architecture and everything. It's very, very unique. It's like just such a charming little small town with like a lot of history. I found a Christmas shop, so I have to go in. <laughs> Look, they have a special Jim Thorpe ornament. So if you've seen any of my like Vlogmas decorating videos, my family, we actually have five different trees that we put up. I love Christmas ornaments. So these type of stores are just like right up my alley. And this one just keeps going. Like there's so many different rooms you're gonna keep exploring. I love this. I could just stay in here all day. Once again, we keep seeing Alice in Wonderland things like referenced in here. You would think if anything, there'd be more Haunted Mansion references, but I need to know what is the connection between Alice in Wonderland and Jim Thorpe. That is what I need to have answered to me. This is seriously so cute because they like just have this like it's a kitchen. Like this is like you're walking through somebody's house. It's like you're just like the fridge and like and this is so cute. Yeah, well I'm sure a lot of these you know places are like houses yeah. that have been converted into shops and stuff. So they just have the kitchen. Like I love that they have the bacon ornaments displayed on the frying pan. That's great. Day. We've been to coffee houses, we've been to the Christmas store. It's great. Now I think we're gonna go over here to this Big Creek Vineyard, which is, I believe, a winery. Yay. Okay, we're in the winery now. So I got this is the Labrusca which is the sweet red. And then what did everybody else get? Mandy has, this is like an apple, apple raspberry apple raspberry wine. And then Kelly, you I got, got the gold wine, which is, is like a German drink. And it's like a hot mold red wine. So it's warm yes. because it's sold out. <laughs> and then we also got the charcuterie plate of the cheeses here to share. And this is exactly what we need right now. We even got pickles and everything, some raisins on there. This will be very nice. Nice little pick me up. Cheers, ladies. <laughs> That'd be a cute picture. Yes. Huh? Cheers. All of us with Cheers. our vlogging. <laughs> this whole trip has been just like all three of us vlog exception. So yes, be sure that you're checking out all their vlogs and all their channels because they do great things. Kelly does a lot of foodie stuff and Disney as well. Mandy does Disney vlogs and Pennsylvania PA travel places. And, yeah, they do everything. So be sure you check these ladies out. <laughs> Cheers. Look at that's good. 
We love this place. Did everyone enjoy? We had our wine. We're just sitting here chatting. I'm sitting here like, we're taking pictures. We're taking pictures. We're not having a good time. I said, this is vlogging. We just did the photo shoot. Now we're doing vlogging. It's fun traveling with other vloggers, and we're all just like, everyone's whipping the camera out at different times. We're having a great time. drunk. It's fun. Yeah. We're already had one drink. Yes, we're having a great time. And soon, we haven't even seen the mansion yet. We gotta go see the mansion. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're gonna do that. Another coffee house, I think. Yeah. And shopping. And, and shopping. we wouldn't go get those balsamic vinegars. Yes, so. we want to stop back at that store and buy some of their stuff. And that was really, really good. Okay, so we just left the winery. We had a really nice time sitting there relaxing and everything. And now this is it. This is the, the moment. This is why we came to Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. We are going to see the real life haunted mansion. This is the mansion that architecture inspired the Imagineers. The Imagineers, when they were searching for what they were gonna make for the Walt Disney World Florida haunted mansion, because the one in Disneyland is different. The Disneyland haunted mansion is more so Hello. <laughs> the Disneyland. Excited. It's so right? nice. Oh yeah, dude, I'll explain it on your vlog too. Okay, the Disneyland Haunted Mansion is, is like a plantation style. <laughs> this is so many vlogs happening right now. <laughs> so yes, the Disneyland Haunted Mansion in California, which was the first one that came along, that one is more so in the like what's the word I'm for? It's southern, it's like a plantation style, that's the word, plantation style mansion. Now this one the Imagineers wanted something that was more like a northern style mansion. So they looked at all places here. I guess they probably scoured many places, but they found here in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. This is the mansion that inspired the Haunted Mansion. And it's so cool. We're going to do some side by sides. When we get up there, you're going to see that this looks like the Haunted Mansion in Walt Disney World in Florida. So of all places, we have a little bit of Disney history yeah. here in Pennsylvania. Up those large stairs. Yeah, so we have to now trek up and there. And the hill. And the hill. We Let's can do it go. though, we're getting our exercise. Oh, and this is it, it's the Asa Parker Mansion. So Asa Parker, this was the father, that's the first mansion that we're gonna see. And then as a wedding gift, he gave his son, Harry Parker, the mansion that is actually the Harry Parker Mansion, that is the Haunted Mansion building. So, let's go. <laughs> we're trekking up the stairs. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Look at this, so right when we come up, so there's the Asa Parker, Aso? Asa? Asa Parker. Asa Parker. Asa Packer. I keep saying I know they Parker. <laughs> Packer <laughs> Mansion. That's the first one. And then there's the actual haunted mansion. I can't believe this. For years I've wanted to come here. There it is. It's a museum. This is not the one. This is the other one. It's kind of Okay, so the Asa Parker Mansion, which is beautiful. This one is actually a museum. I didn't realize that. And it says, sorry, we're closed. And some of the people in town were telling us just because of COVID right now, I don't think they've ever reopened yet. But eventually, hopefully, they will reopen this. And yeah, it says the hours there of when they typically do tours, which would be very, very interesting to see. I'm sure we would get <laughs> other information, maybe even related to the Haunted Mansion. Like, you know, that'd be very cool. We can kind of see here we can't go all the way up to the mansion but we can come here and see some of the information that they have oh this is cool the self-made man okay i'm gonna walk up these steps here and see how close we can get to see the Aces Parker Mansion. There it is. So there's Aces Parker Mansion right there. They do have Christmas decorations out front here. And right there, look at that. It's the Haunted Mansion. Like you can definitely see like that first, like, what is that? Like that column. You can see the resemblances. It's awesome. So it looks like there's some plaques up here. So I want to go up and see what this says about the Aces Parker Mansion. Oh, we got the church bells going in town. Yeah, here we are. Look at the view from up here too.
this is a little thing about the view, view his life from his home and pointing out the different places of significance here that we can see. Because yeah, you really do, look at this. You got such a stunning view. This is so cool. I'm so happy that I am doing this because seriously, I have always, ever since I first found out that the haunted mansion was based off of a real life mansion in Pennsylvania, I was always like, that's near me. Like I should go see that. And like, this is kind of, it's kind of out of the way. Like, it's not like I live right next to this town, you know? So I just have never like made it a priority to come up here. And so, you know, me and my friends were like, this is my last PA hoorah before I moved to Florida. I'm a Florida girl. So I'm just so happy that we decided to do this. And so yeah, we walked up here to the Aces Parker mansion and you can see there's actually a walking path right there where Kelly is <laughs> that will take us right over to the Henry Packer, Henry, I keep wanting to say Henry, Harry. Harry Packer, Harry Packer mansion. And they are actually, I believe it's like a bed and breakfast. Like I think mm -hmm. you can book rooms there. We are not staying there today. We're staying somewhere else, but we're going to be going there because they do have a lounge and we did call and ask and they said that you can just come to the lounge. They were very welcoming of that. So we are definitely going to go there, hang out, have some drinks, maybe have some food and relax later tonight. And like, when else can you say that you've had drinks in the real life haunted mansion? Like, that's amazing. <laughs> Kelly wants more wine. <laughs> I just said to Kelly, I was like, what do you think's behind those doors over there? And she's like, maybe it's like a wine cellar. <laughs> I'm thinking like an underground secret tunnel, like, she's like maybe it's wine <laughs> with, <laughs> with wine. <laughs> There's the secret tunnels. I want to know where they go. And like Kelly pointed out in her vlog, she's like, those little circles kind of are like hidden Mickey's if you tilt your head to the side like that. This is it. The actual haunted mansion. The mansion that inspired the attraction we all know and love right here. Wait, they have Murder Mystery Weekends? They do it anymore. Oh, they don't do it now? Mm. On their website in August, I mean, on their Facebook in August, uh -huh. it said they don't do that anymore. So I don't huh. know if they just didn't. Or maybe because of COVID right now or something? Like maybe it will come back eventually. Oh, look. Kelly, it's a wine it's cellar. A wine cellar. <laughs> Every little tunnel, I'm like, where's that lead? She's like, it's a the wine cellar. <laughs> Okay, so I just walked around. We kind of came up on the side of the mansion. I kind of walked around here to the front of the mansion here. And we're gonna go across the street here. I believe there's also like a little, from what I've seen online, like garden area over here. But yeah, also from here across the street, we really can get like a good perspective of the mansion. I know, I can't wait to pull up the side-by-sides of the Haunted Mansion in Disney World and like, look at it. Look, I guess, is that part of the lounge that you can sit outside? It's freezing cold, but like, that's like so cool. This is so cool. So yeah, here's the, what is this? Kemmer Park? Let's so go see, what do they have? Look at this, they have like in this tree here, they have just like hanging, look at that, fruit and everything. Okay, I am going to walk down here in this garden area. This is gorgeous. It just has like such a, it almost has an eerie feel to it. <laughs> it's charming and eerie all at the same time, which is like exactly how you would imagine the haunted mansion to be. Like, I feel like I am a guest at Gracie Manor right now. Look at that. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, the way those like candles are like, or the lights are like flickering up there kind of makes me feel like just all the Haunted Mansion spookiness. So down in here, this is like a tennis court now. I want to know the history behind like this park and like if this is associated with, was this at one point grounds of the mansion? Or it said something up here, I'll have to read that sign that I was showing about on um, this park. 
I was dedicated in like 2002 so it is newer like I don't know if at one point in time it was a part of the estate and then it became more like a local park oh they're on a cardinal how pretty oh just doesn't this seem like you could film a movie here like you could film oh my gosh if Disney films another Haunted Mansion movie mm -hmm. that could so happen back here okay so like you guys I think I've mentioned before on my channel that I, like, years ago, my very first trip to Walt Disney World was in, like, 2003, 2004, sometime around then, and I can't remember, so I was in, like, kindergarten, maybe even, like, I was very, very young, and right around that time was when the Eddie Murphy Haunted Mansion movie came out, and I, to this day, love that movie. I think it gets, like, it needs more hype than what it gets. I think it's much more deserving of, like, a lot more hype and everything. I think that movie is wonderful and I would love for Disney to like do another Haunted Mansion movie and I believe there's one in the works that I heard of and it would kind of be even more like the one with Eddie Murphy was like obviously like a comedy movie like it'd be more like a actual drama film uh, that would be so cool and like could you imagine if they would actually like film at like Jim Thorpe like this it's so cool I know that that's an eagle on top of there, but I just keep thinking it's like a bat, like the Haunted Mansion. So I just came back up here to the side of the mansion. So the lounge right now is closed, but it is around this way. And this is where we are going to be going later tonight to actually be dining inside of the Haunted Mansion. Okay, so we are now heading back down the hill from the Henry Parker Mansion. Harry, I always mix that up. Harry Packer. I either say Parker as last name or Henry as the first name. It's Harry. The, it's the Harry Potter mansion. Right. I mean, we, we I'm shocked because we went to a Harry Potter restaurant, um, coffee house earlier today. So I'm really <laughs> shocked I'm not saying that. Harry Packer Mansion. We are leaving the Harry Packer Mansion. There it is right there. The real life haunted mansion. <laughs> we are leaving that, heading back down into the town, and we are going to go have some more coffee. We have another coffee so, shop. We do. That actually has Haunted Mansion stuff. Mm-hmm. Haunted Mansion wallpaper. Like my leggings that I'm wearing today, I'll have to insert. I have you my leggings. seven more selfies. <laughs> yes. Yeah, these are my leggings that I have on today. They are from the Disney. I got these at the Disney outlet. And I was like so excited to finally have a reason to wear them. I was always thinking like Disney at Halloween, you know, it would work good. But I'm like, we went to the real life Haunted Mansion house today. So I got to wear my Haunted Mansion leggings. I was excited. Time for more shopping. Okay, now we are heading across the way here to the treasure shop. And this is very interesting because look at this building here. So when we were planning this trip, Kelly was actually asking around about, you know, places to go and things to do. And somebody told her that this shop right here is actually like, as us Disney people, this is supposed to be like inspired by the shop on Main Street. So. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe just like the color scheme or something like our, some of the detailing. It kind of has Main Street vibes to me. So it says the treasure shop gifts and Irish imports. So yeah, I guess they're mainly just saying that it looks like Disney because of the architecture on the outside. So yeah, pretty cool. Now we're going to, I think we're gonna go do some more shops and a coffee house again, because we need to go sit inside somewhere and get warm. Okay, so it's time for our next little coffee house. This is the Curiosities Coffee House, and this is the one that has that Haunted Mansion wallpaper. And the really nice lady we were talking to at the Muggles Mug Coffee Shop, which is actually right next door to this one, was saying that the wallpaper in here 
is the most expensive wallpaper ever and they spent so much money on this wallpaper and yeah i could believe that because look at this they have the actual haunted mansion wallpaper <laughs> i know we need to have a photo shoot because i mean i so appreciate that they've like embraced the haunted mansion culture oh my gosh okay we just came in in the train station Cream it's, like freezing. it's freezing, but it's ice cream. <laughs> Here's our ice cream flavors. I think I might be getting, they have a float that is a hot chocolate float. It just went away, but yes, they can do any one of the flavors of ice cream and make it into a hot chocolate float. I said that would be so good. Would they have shoe fly pie? That is a very, very Pennsylvania thing. This is like a celebration of all Pennsylvania things, so it's appropriate. <laughs> Okay, so inside of this coffee house here, this is the place that also has ice cream. So, me and Kelly both went for, this is the hot chocolate um, float, that it's actual hot, hot chocolate poured onto ice cream, and I went with shoe fly pie. Kelly went with, she has right here, this is the pumpkin, pumpkin cheesecake. cheesecake flavor. Did you try it yet? Yeah, it's really good. Oh, wait, it's I'm like so really good. Try it. So, I don't even know, do I like sip it first, or do I like take a bite of it? It doesn't matter, it's just good. It's just good. <laughs> Oh, that is delicious. Oh my gosh. And then Mandy has all shoe pie pie and pumpkin cheesecake, right? Yep, with no hot chocolate. There you go. <laughs> I said I have to do all the PA things. I had to get a um, shoe fly pie one because it's a Pennsylvania staple. And this is my last PA hoorah, as we keep calling it. We were going to hashtag it, Meg's last PA hoorah. <laughs> We are freezing. It is so cold out now. It's starting like misting rain again, and it's just getting that really damp and raw, cold feeling. And we're excited. I can't wait till next month I get to see the Florida mansion, <laughs> and hopefully it won't be this cold in Florida. It's cold right now. But yeah, we are going back up to the mansion. This time to actually go inside because the lounge is now open. It is past four o'clock. That's when they open. And I am so excited to get to actually walk inside of the Haunted Mansion. I keep, I'm just gonna call it the Haunted Mansion because that's what it is to me. Kelly, she just called it the Harry Potter because I keep calling this by so many different names. Shockingly, not Harry Potter yet, but that might happen at some point. Let, let me tell you, by the way, yes, that the little hole on the side of the Harry Potter Mansion uh -huh. is not a wine cellar or a door. <laughs> It's just a hole. It's just a hole. Okay. It's a statue. <laughs> it's so. the Underground Railroad. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, you looked it up? Actually, in a video I watched on oh, YouTube. Oh, really? Someone mentioned That was part of the Underground Railroad. Well, look at that. It's we have more history. Oh, my gosh. Who knows? Maybe it did. <laughs> so there you go. You, you see, we have to research more of this history and everything. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so the Henry Packer. Harry. Packer. <laughs> Say this right. <laughs> They're cracking up at me. The Harry. So it is Harry. I have to think like Harry Potter, but then just Packer. Yes. Harry Packer. The Harry not Packer. Parker. Not, not Parker. Parker. I've, I will not either Henry. say Harry, but then say Parker, or I'll say people are gonna be so confused. <laughs> but yeah, I will either say Harry. What have I even been saying? It's the haunted mansion. It's the haunted mansion. Harry Packer. Harry Packer. It actually is Harry Packer. <laughs> this is apparently, I was like, what was I even trying to say? This was a part of the Underground Railroad. Fifteen minutes to catch your breath. So we think maybe possibly this place was part of the um, Asa. Packer <laughs> Mansion was part of the Underground Railroad, and we don't know what this is. I feel like it had to have some purpose, right? It holds a statue. I was gonna it say, a statue. it's a statue <laughs> and holder. holder. And okay. why, you are obsessed with this needing to be a wine cellar. <laughs> well, this would be a good spot for photos, ladies. Okay, we are heading around the side of the mansion right now. Look at this. This is beautiful. It is actually a couple minutes before four o'clock, so. We have to wait a little bit until the lounge opens, but we are so excited. Look at the stained glass. It's gorgeous. 
I feel like I'm just taking like a thousand photos and like video b-roll clips around here right now because there's just so much like every time I look at like the staircase back there and everything it's like all those little like fine details it's like you can see why the Imagineers like chose this place for a reason it has a certain charm about it and like something that is so special and I I just love it I'm so happy this was something that I've wanted to do like I keep saying in this video for so long it's my last PA hurrah we're doing it <laughs> we're here at the Harry Parker pack, pack. <laughs> You're so I, know, I got so confident too. I was like, thought I was there. The hair retake. Woo. We are here at the Harry Packer Mansion and it's great. <laughs> so we just read this sign right here and it has a little bit of a history where history meets luxury. It has some information here about the mansion and how it's currently used you can actually stay here this is a oh look they even have a qr code it's kind of cut off down there but you can stay here it is like a kind of inn <laughs> like bed and breakfast type place i don't know if it's a bed and breakfast or it's at least a a um, hotel you can stay here and this right here this is the lounge this libations lounge that we are waiting in like a few minutes it should open up we are inside, and this is stunning. I, I can't even believe this. We are inside the haunted mansion right now. So this is the study in here. I'll have to take you back out into the main part where the lounge is. But look, they have a nativity up too. Also, this door is the bathroom. <laughs> we thought that was so funny. It's like a little hidden door. Look at like the balcony that you can go out to here. I just love how when you look there, like you look up, I that's just, just the coolest effect. It is. So like, they almost look like the Haunted Mansion doors. I love it. This is so cool. Here's some merchandise. I, of course, have to get the ornament because it's $35. <laughs> I mean, this was my big thing that I wanted to come see. And I mean, it's the real life haunted mansion. Okay, so we are now having drinks in the real life haunted mansion. And I can't even believe this. This is like a dream come true. And yeah, I have to buy that ornament for myself because it's like, this is what I have been so excited for. Cheers. <laughs> So yeah, this is one of their specials, the white fur coat, and it has coconut rum, um, peach schnapps. It is delicious. It's very tropical, and I love that. <laughs> and the staff is so kind here. They just brought this over. It's a welcome tour that explains everything about the inside of the mansion, the, what the different rooms, kind of some of the history and everything, which is incredible. Oh, there's a backside too. Hey. Hey. So we're in the hunt we're in the haunted mansion. This is just so incredible. Like just every detail about this, like I didn't expect to be so wild just even in the house. So yeah, there is seriously like so much like just the woodwork just everything and the staff is so incredibly friendly and they actually told us that we can go ahead and explore as much as we want and even go upstairs so we're gonna go ahead and go exploring i'm so excited yeah, so this is the main hallway and it was interesting we were reading in that paper that this was the front door that if you were traveling by foot you would enter in here then on the back here of the main hall this is where we actually came in earlier you would enter there if you came by carriage and that awning back there, kind of like where we were standing when we came in, that actually looks so similar to the Haunted Mansion in Florida, how it is like themed, you know, to the whole 
you know, carriage house and how people would arrive. It's just, it's amazing. So is this the ladies' parlor? I believe one of them. <clears throat> so ladies' parlor, I guess the other one is the gentleman's parlor. Wow. Also, here you can get a better view. These are my Haunted Mansion leggings. Haunted Mansion wallpaper. <laughs> and so what is this room here? This is beautiful though, look. And they do do um, private events here, so it's gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna go up exploring. Look at just like the texture, um, like wallpaper, it's amazing. We are right now inside of the Haunted Mansion. They let us inside. <laughs> So she said we can go anywhere upstairs. Obviously, just we can't go in the guest rooms because there is guests staying here. So we're going to be respectful of that. But we get to explore any of the common areas up here. And just look how it's like you can then look directly up. This is so cool. Oh, yeah, look at the just paint detailing. There's also a third, is there actually, okay, a yeah, third level. It's the highest, look at that. Wow, look at this. Oh, what does this say? The Sawyer's room. Oh, I love this couch. It's very old Hollywood. I can't believe we're actually inside the mansion. We are actually inside of the haunted mansion right now. They let us inside of the haunted mansion. So um, when these rooms are inhabited, they do have, look, they have some water set out here. A little Keurig. This is now like a new dream. I want to actually stay the night inside of here. Someday. <laughs> back down the steps this was so amazing look at this it's back on the second level down here look at this oh my gosh i even wore my haunted mansion leggings for the occasion i love this this is so amazing i can't even believe i was just saying like just thank you to the staff like they have been so incredible I was not anticipating getting to actually be inside here today. Like I knew we'd probably be able to come to the lounge, but like the fact that they've just been so friendly and accommodating and let us walk around here in the main part. This is amazing. Like actually walk around through the whole mansion. We just saw the whole entire mansion, the whole entire mansion. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. I just want to know all the history of like all these pictures. Everything, this is amazing. All right, time to head back downstairs to the first floor. Yeah, I was talking to my sister at the house. Wait a second. Okay, so it's kind of dark, so I don't know if you can see me too well, but we're leaving right now the Harry Packer. Did I do it right? Yes, Harry Packer Mansion. That was incredible. Just once again, a huge thank you to the staff. They were just so wonderful. Um, I did go ahead and buy the ornament. I have to, you guys know, I have a travel tree at home that I also have a Disney tree. I have a Disney tree and a travel tree. I feel like this one though would fit better on like my travel tree. And um, really it could go on both because it is a Disney tie-in, but I'll have to insert some footage of what it looks like it was just too perfect like this has been like I keep saying the thing that I have been so wanting to come do and it was incredible I just we had the experience like the whole time we were you know dining in there like having a drink sitting there um it just felt you know like oh my gosh I'm in the haunted mansion it was just so crazy to think about I love that it'd be so cool to dine here on the porch because this porch like you can so see in the architecture how this is like the wraparound porch that they have at the mansion We are 
heading back down into town right now. Like, just look how eerie it actually looks right now. Oh my goodness. So our adventures are not done yet at all because now we are going to dinner down in town. We have reservations at, where are we going? I forget the name the of the place. Broadway, Broadway Grill. Grill. Broadway Grill. That is where we are going down here in town. Everything is very much walkable distance too. That's important to note if you're coming here. So Except this is exciting. a big hill. Except this is a big huge hill. hill huge hill. hill to come up. So yes, we have to trek down. It's easier going down than it is coming up, definitely. So yeah, we just got to trek down the hill and go to dinner. It is cute. That just, every time I look at it, it looks like a Hallmark movie. Oh, look at all the trees. That's so pretty. So we're back on, this is Broadway. Okay, so this is what we're going for dinner tonight. We are going to be eating here at the Broadway Grill. And I'm excited. We are all so hungry. We've mainly just had coffee and cheese plates today and a glass of wine and now a cocktail. And we need the actual food food. <laughs> so we just sat down. Here's a little overview of the menu here. Looks like they have so many good things. We're all debating what we want. Everything right now sounds good. We are definitely so hungry at the moment. So here's what they have. Let's see, is there anything on the back? There is. Well, this is the um, alcohol menu. We got the giraffe beers over here, the wine list. What is that special? And then Kelly just handed me this is their seasonal cocktail menu. And they have giraffe beers. Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at all this. And these are the specials. Okay, here we go. So I got the stuffed chicken. Wow, and then, so yeah, look at it all. We all got our cameras out. It's time to vlog the food. Everything looks amazing. I got stuffed chicken. Yeah. All right, we just had an incredible dinner. It was so nice just sitting there, relaxing, chatting, just reflecting on how incredible this day has been. These girls are sending me off well to Florida next month. It has been so much fun. Um, yeah, just getting to catch up and everything. Now we are heading to our hotel. We were staying at the Hilton. Is it the... Double tree, by Hilton? Is it a Hampton? Inn? Hampton. Oh, it's a Hampton. Hampton, Hampton by Hilton. Nice. So we're going to head there. We're going to relax, hang out, have some nice snacks, have a great night, and then, yeah, head out in the morning. But yes, this is so amazing. We're actually passing right up there. It's dark now, but that is where the mansion is. And this was just incredible. Something that I have forever wanted to do. And, you know, with only a month left living here in Pennsylvania, I needed to come do it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure if you want to follow me on my Disney journey living in Orlando, be sure to subscribe, like this video, leave me some comments down below. All that really does help out the channel so much. And with that, make today magical. Make today magical. Bye. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> Kelly. Bye. Is that um, like a continental breakfast? Yeah, it's fully open, but you want some fun COVID.